Okay, hi, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us. Let's get into it. We're going to give a breakdown on my previous uh, video as to uh, what the outcome is of that trading idea, that trade play. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to take you through, give you a breakdown of that trade. Let's see what lessons we can learn. See how much money we've got, we made, how much money we can lose. Yep. But more importantly, what lessons you can learn when you are looking at the market and looking for trading ideas. So let's get straight into it. If you can remember, we are trading the DAX number one. Okay. And the main figure at the time was 13,300. Okay. That was the entry point or no, that was the, you could say the, 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 the reference point, which we're looking at. So let's go. So when we look here, this is your 13,300, which is the middle there. I told you that the market was sort of uh, congregating, getting congested. There was going to be a breakout. Couldn't tell whether it's to the upside or the bottom side. Uh, and I was, I, my, my bias, to be honest, at the time was to the upside. Uh, on the upside, it actually went from, uh, 300 to, uh, 44. Uh, but I, the, the, the suggested entry level, which I said, was that you put a limit order at 350 and a stop order at 200. Yeah. So that's the middle there. Okay. Or, or the middle of the actual, uh, congestion period or the flag. As that, that sort of, uh, uh, technical analysis term is or pendant it, to be even more accurate. And then what would happen is that when the price hits that level 350, you'd be in long and automatically you'd have a stop at 200. Okay. Now, if you, the other thing is that the trade itself was, uh, put on right near the end of the day. Yep, that was, uh, at, uh, if you can remember, it was, uh, 2020. So 40 minutes before the market closed on the futures. Yep. Uh, it's significant that because what will happen is that between there and there, this is the night time and not much action was happening. Okay. Not much action was happening. The other significant points to note is that three, 350 or 13,350 on the DAX. Okay. You see a spike here and a spike there. So what does that mean as a potential trader? Well, because you know that the market tested that level there on that day, and then it tested it again and came back down again, these are points where people are going to put their orders in, which I suggested. Okay? So those would be natural points to put your order. The second natural point would be on the pivot point at the bottom, which was 200. Okay? Hence, this is why we put our orders there. Now, on the day, on the uh, market open, in fact, and this is very interesting. On the market open, let's get this zoom in a bit. Yeah. On the market open, yeah, what you got there is this. This, by any measure, is a brilliant short sign. Okay? Problematic for you as a trader. Because if you're resting in your orders there and you are um, accepting the risk, you would have triggered a buy order and you would have been in the market long. Okay. Now, if you have some experience in the trading, when you see that at the market open and it closes there, and this is on the hourly. Okay. That's the hourly figure. Uh, that's a sell. That is a glaring in your face sell sign. Okay. You've seen it there. That's a sell. Okay. That's a sell. We can go along here. That's a sell. Can you see? Even that little one there is a sell. Even got broken. Sell. Okay. Here, that would look like a sell. The problem problem is that these sells are usually when the prices have risen. When the price has risen and then it spikes up like that, like a reverse hammer, that's when it's a sell. Not when it's at the bottom. Usually when it's at the bottom, Okay, i.e. the prices have been going down and you get that. That is a reversal. That is a reversal. Yeah, a reversal to the upside. Okay, whereas these are reversals to the downside. So now when you have the morning open, 
two things could have happened for you. Either one, the market would have entered, entered you into a long position and you would have lost 150 ticks, right? 150 ticks. And if you're in at £10 a point, that's 1,500, you're down. Okay? 1,500, you're down. Okay? Now, this is where uh, intuition comes into it. And this is where you don't get married to the trade. Okay? And what I mean by that is, it is such a clear signal. So even though you entered into a long position, when it came down there at the finish, that is such a glaring short, you would have just reversed your position. You should have reversed your position. I mean, if it was like this, and then it was a green up there, and then it went down, you could be forgiven, and you would have taken that that, that hit, the 1,500 or 150 ticks, yeah? If that was a green coming up, or even up to there, and it come down, that's just trade, it's based on probabilities. But when you see that, the significance of it is that it's hit the levels here and it's come down and it's the market open, right? That's the most important thing. So now what you would have done is just short it and put your stop up a bit higher at 75, okay? And then sit back and let it go. When it got down to here, yeah, you, 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 you would have got your money back anyway. You would have got your money back, yeah? Uh, but if you uh, resist, you're coming up, it's coming up there, you haven't been stopped out, you've got it all the way down here to play for, okay? So that trade alone, let's see, we get here, say 300, yeah, because it's gone back down to 300, that was the level, okay? Down to here, okay, that's a 500 tick movement. So let's say, let's, so let's call this the, the, the worst scenario ever. You got into the trade, yeah, you got triggered there, you're long. You got stopped out there, okay, you can see it's going down, you reverse your position. Unfortunately, you're now getting it short at a lower, at a lower level, okay, but you'd have to use that as your stop, okay. Uh, so now you've gone short and oh my god, it's going against you. But your stop is there and you're going to have to stomach it. If it hits it again, that's another 150. Yeah, so that's £3,000 you would be down. Okay, however, if you stay cool and keep it and accept the risk, okay, you've come down here and you've made yourself uh, 250. Yeah, it was well, actually more than that, 400. Yeah, so 4,000 minus the 1,500, what you would have lost if you had stayed in that particular trade, okay, and you're up, you're up 2,500, okay, that's if you just, just let it go, rigidly stuck to the uh, that trading plan, accepted the risk. If you want to go discretionary, intuition, you know it's the market open, you, like the market closes the most volatile time, and so you would reverse your position and then sit back and wait to get stopped out. Even at that level there, you get stopped out 150, it's called 300, yeah, 75, 55, 50. So you would have lost, um, if it had gone against you, you would have lost 2,050 uh, pounds, yeah. Um, on, on that trade, so i.e. you got in there, you got triggered out, you then went short and you got stopped out, but you didn't get stopped out there at all, so you've made 2,500 on that trade, okay, it's just an idea, just trading ideas guys, just trading ideas, anyway, if you like that uh, sort of talk, walk through, then by all means, uh, like, subscribe, uh, you'll notice that I'm not a great one for moving averages and this and that. And I just play by the market. I go by the candlesticks. Uh, I like pivot points. Pivot points are key for me. And also yesterday's high, yesterday's low is also uh, very important. Okay. Uh, other uh, important uh, charting signals for me are point and figure. And also I like to see volume. You don't get volume on a lot of these uh, charts because they're not really related to the market. So you don't see volume coming in, okay? And also uh, trade and sales, which is like a flow. You'd have to buy other chart packages for that, okay? And also level two. But if you're just doing off these charts and basic sort of technical analysis, your point and figures, 
you know, your candlesticks, yeah, uh, sorry, not your points, your pivot points and your candlesticks are good indicators. So there you go. That is my trade breakdown for the day.